last name, that that is the symbology on the uniforms of the guys in the Ukraine. Hmm. Do you find that weird? Let me show you all the symbology. Today's March 22nd, 2022. This is Clark's video last night, March 21st, 2022. And Steve, didn't you say something about, um, you just deleted your video that something about Zelensky, Putin should just drop the, uh, a nuke on him or something. So there they are, the same guys holding the same occult symbology here, here. The black sun on their uniforms. This this is the Azov Battalion holding the same occult symbology on their flags and their uniforms. There's a really good article that uh, I think. Oh, the flags and their uniforms. I like how you skip right by that one. See that right there? So we have a gate on our, so Bowie doesn't go upstairs, uh, you know, because of the random seizures that take place in a nine-year-old dog that's very uncommon. So my son ties this to, to keep it, tied it into like a bow, it was like that, tied it, see, like that. There's a really good article that uh, I think everybody should read. I'm going to go ahead and read a little bit of this article. It says, is the actual Vatican itself, this black cross right here. The building is in the shape of a, of a cross, and it's upside down in relationship to this keyhole right here. And I put a, a black cross with a white figure on it to show how you get out of this trap. You simply take this cross. Yeah, I, you must have added that bow <clears throat> to the... Um... Because I didn't see it before to that right there, right? Because I remember the guy that used to be the president before Trump. He said, uh, well, uh, yeah, I've been asked about my Muslim faith. Uh, and the reporter said, you mean Christian? He goes, oh, yeah, Christian. Of course he's a Christian. Don't. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> my son, Christian. <laughs> They watch his video, son. These are all watching it. But the gig is up. And here's the thing. I said this before. Somebody is going to get the greatest actors award who has deceived me all the way through, making me think one thing. And then in the end, it's really uh, what needs to happen. So. The other funny thing is when I told, when I said, when I text you, Christian, I don't know, like maybe it's like six days ago now, or might be seven. There, there, here's the reason why I stop communicating with people is because when I'm looking at my phone, just in a random way, I all of a sudden get a text message. It's like, wow, what, what were you watching me? It's the same thing as the gang stalking corporation where the same habits are unusual. These door opening and people, as you're turning your into to your down your street, they just happen to always be their doors open or getting some groceries out. It's like this random thing that constantly happens repetitively, repetitively. It makes zero sense because I'm not getting paid to for the world revolving around me and my wife. Uh, it's still slightly irritating to her because in her mind, it's like this is so retarded. It doesn't even make sense. And but yet the world revolves around us, but we're not getting compensated for it. So that's why it it's, makes no sense. When you finally get compensated for it, we'll, she'll understand. So anyway, talked about the dog and uh, I get the text message. And then as I'm talking to my wife about it. So, you know, I get to that point where, all right, I know you're in surveillance, dude, I'm not stupid. All of a sudden, my son gets really upset me accusing him of being in surveillance. Meaning like, 
you have that app that tells you what to do. That app surveils what I do. And then after that, stayed up in your room for five days straight. As he texted me and said that, you know, F this and F that, and I don't need to tell you anything. And uh, he accused me of shit and stupid. And, you know, if I if it's true, and I'm sorry, I'll, I apologize. But, yeah, Christian, my son. So, got upset. Said, I'll just feel, I'll just feel uncomfortable now and just stay up my room. I'm like, you don't need to stay up in your room. Just get a job that way. And then he got really upset after that. But it's funny because right at that same time, the very next day. Jonathan's hardness. And I sat there in my room and I just. Man, it's ironic that I never, my kid never um, isolated himself. So it's like he got punished, not by me. But stayed up in his room for like five days straight. I didn't even hear a word. After a couple of days, I started to get concerned that is he's alive. But I know how he's like a night owl, so I just figured he would. He sleeps during the day and then gets up at night. But truly, Christian, you stay in your room for five days straight, as if you literally got punished. After I said, I know you're in surveillance. Similar thing happened to Charlie at work when he was doing that thing towards me. Him and uh, Colin were downstairs, and they were just talking the entire time as I'm up there. And, and when I'm bringing down cardboard, taking out the trash, the kid's, like, talking about taking cardboard out and taking it to the trash. So because that's what gang stalkers do, they talk about what you're doing. And then I sent Charlie a little, um, a little video of gang stalking, and I said, oops, wrong person. And then for the next three hours, somewhere two or three hours, he was sitting downstairs in the living room, punished. So that's what happens when you call people out for the obvious, when they get caught. Uh, like when, the, when I came into the house the one day and my son's right there in the living room and I go back outside and they throw trash out. And then it's like kind of dark. The laundry room light was on and then it shut off. And then I go back in and he's still in the living room looking at his phone. And he didn't say anything. So that's when I started writing notes. At 7.37 p.m., uh, task, uh, assignment. Turn laundry room light off as subject proceeds to take trash out. Because he even came into the... Came in here after was like, what's that note about? <laughs> because it was so, how did you know? I mean, uh, what was that? How? So that's what my life is. Waking up to the reality of, wow. Wow. But this is, this, this is the, this is the, um, the click that has like the, uh, again, both clicks, two different people. There's a good and evil um, side of the government. And going back, having a, here, right here. <clears throat> together they're tied together now i'm getting white horse the bow so the bow my dog's name's Bo. bowie there's a but there's a white horse there's someone that comes in on a white horse with a bow in his hand. 
And as as the system is played down to levels where you think you're that person, but really the person above you is that person. And so and then there's groups of people there's that think that they're in this position that they're gonna get like they're gonna be the ones conquering and to conquer. Um but the truth is this. This is the Jonathan Cleck right here that in the end, here's what's going to happen. Let me show you all the symbology. So there they are, the same guys holding the same occult symbology here, here. The black sun on their uniforms, this. Black sun? This is the Azov Battalion holding the same occult symbology on their flags and their uniforms. There's a really good right here holding this. There's a bow here. There's a bow here. My hand. There's a bow in my. There's a bow in my hand that was wrapped around my gate in my own house to keep Bo from going upstairs and having another seizure that's unusual for a nine year old dog to get zapped like that. Bo. Bo. Oh. Good article that uh, I think everybody should read. I'm going to go ahead and read a little bit of this article. It says, America under Joe Biden. This was a uh, Salvadoran president. Um, this guy right here, Nayib Raquel, breaks the silence and points out the obvious Biden regime. The USA can't be destroyed so quickly unless the enemy. So I'm, I'm going by Joe Biden right here. Is from within. I did a, I did a video a long time ago called the regime. The USA can't be destroyed so quickly unless the enemy is from within. I did um, I did a video a long time ago called the. So, the enemy is from within. That's how America can be destroyed. But how? How is it going to be destroyed? The Antichrist unveiled. It had I don't know seven or eight million views, and it was taken down. How's it going, Barack? Anyway, so. The Barack, you must be talking about your brother. No, not that's you. All right, no, that's still you. I just cried and cried. The other side of the government. So you got good and evil. Let's take a look. America under Joe Biden, wide open borders, 2 million illegal immigrants flooding the country in one year, uh, more than this year. Surrender in Afghanistan, that was a good one. Abandoning an essential base, arming the Taliban with 80 billion in U.S. weaponry uh, and dead soldiers in retreat. So this was unbelievable that you would leave 80 billion for your enemies in, in tanks and helicopters and jets and machine guns and ammo. Shutting down the energy sector so now the U.S. doesn't have energy production going on. That's That could only be done that someone wants to destroy you internally. Record spending, again, yes, <clears throat> highest gas prices in history, Destruct, destruction of the First Amendment by big tech, corrupt media gaslighting to the public. We, remember Russian collusion, the big lie? Total destruction of the working class and pol politicized and broken justice department. How's it going, James Comey, Clapper, and all you scumbags? Yeah. Anyway, just making a point. Just making a point. If it's not that, if you can't see it right now and you don't see the enemy has come from within... And the Mahdi is here. Remember, Judas was considered the greatest traitor in the world. Your perception may be because he betrayed Jesus. Of course, his the disciples the, the disciples hated him. Well, you're right; they did because he turned against them, and he's the enemy from within. So when he's the greatest betrayer in the world. That would mean to me that, no, not you. Okay, guys, God bless you. This is another one, but the, the rider on the white horse. Let me open up another window here. Because I'm going to start. Where'd you go? All right. Rider on the white horse. 
It's called a child of the earth. It's a Jerusalem cricket. There. Some cricket. That's how you're born. Behold a white horse. Now, when you go and look over, have sacrificed our lives for a dollar, and they knew it, and they tell it to you right to your face by. When you look at Derek, he she does it. All right, so he has a white horse, but he's dressed in black. Now, I do understand the decoys in these scenarios because if you have a white horse, it's just kind of it would be it would just be too obvious to give it away. Like, hey, I'm the I'm the one of the horsemen on a white horse. I believe Derek is one of the horsemen. I just don't think that he's the white horse. Just yet. I'm not willing to say that just yet. Uh, but this makes more sense. You know why? Because the Lord have created it. Woe unto him that striveth with his maker as a pot shred. People to believe in Christ. So you see, there will be the testimony that will be prevalent in. Back in 2012, Pastor Greg Laurie, who obviously is in the know. In the last days, but yet we will discover so many will reject it. So I know this is kind of a bleak scenario, but uh, hey, when we're reading through chapters of the Bible, you come across what you come across, and you let the chips fall where they will. But let me say this. Antichrist is close. He could be alive today. But the Bible does not tell us, look for Antichrist. It tells us that we are to look for Jesus Christ. That's the key. That's because Jesus Christ is the one that's supposed to find the Antichrist. So stop worrying about looking for the Antichrist. You're not going to know. Look for Jesus Christ who will show you the Antichrist. In fact, to the point, I don't even think we will see Antichrist be revealed. So don't waste your time trying to figure out who he is. Right. So there's, because there's many in the world today. Because the Bible actually tells us in the book of Thessalonians, 2 Thessalonians 2, the mystery of lawlessness is already at work. Only he who now restrains will continue to do so until he is taken out of the way. And then that lawless one will be revealed whom the Lord will destroy with the brightness of his coming. Right now, the restraining force in the world is the Holy Spirit working through the church. <clears throat> but once the church is removed in the rapture, that is when Antichrist can be revealed. Okay, so we think, all right, well, what am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to live? I'm glad you asked. Now go over to 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, and we'll read that other passage. Alcohol. Well, this is what we would call a, a parallel passage that goes right along with what we've just read. In light of what we have seen, here is how we are to live as Christians waiting for the Lord to return. 1 Thessalonians 5, when they shall say, peace and safety, sudden destruction will come upon them as labor pains upon a pregnant woman. So everyone's saying, oh man, there's peace on the earth. All we are saying is give peace a chance. You know, everyone says, it's global harmony. It's a harmonic convergence. It's all cool, man. Yeah. Then that Christ says, yeah, here's who I really am. <laughs> ah! Abomination of desolation. Persecution against the Jews. Persecution against the Christians. War, famine, pestilence, all the rest of it. When they say peace and so safety, Mahdi is the one that will lead the will Islamic upon. jihad labor, labor pains upon in the, the end of the and world. And they shall not escape. Okay, what am I supposed to do? Listen, verse 4. But you, brothers, are not in darkness, so that day would overtake you as a thief. You are the sons of light, and the sons of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as others do. Let us watch and be sober. For those who sleep, sleep at night. Those who get drunk are drunk at night. But let us you as a thief. You are the sons of light, and the sons of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore... Let us not sleep as others do. Let us watch and be sober. What are supposed to do? How am I supposed to live? I'm glad you asked. Now go over to 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and we'll read that other passage. I'm just, I would just be willing to bet there's alcohol in there. And then he's going to preach about not drinking and being sober. Because everybody is a hypocrite, um, and that's why everybody is the children of Satan and serpents, and 
yeah, of course, if you're a liar, you're a child of the devil. But did you ever hear that saying? Um, the fig tree casts are untimely figs when it's shaken of a mighty wind. It's like something happens earlier than expected. Therefore, the people you're dealing with, yeah, they're still lying. Of course, they're children of Satan transitioning into children of God. They still have the power to act. They have to finish their act for 42 months. But this is what we would call a, a parallel war, famine, pestilence, all the rest of it. When they say peace and safety, sudden destruction will come upon them. <clears throat> as labor, labor pains upon a pregnant woman. God did not appoint us to wrath, but to obtain salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ. Great words. Very clear. No, you're not appointed to wrath. In the tribulation period, God's wrath is going to be poured out. You're not appointed to that. God's going to remove you as a Christian before this happens, before Antichrist is revealed. So how should I live in light of that? Three things I'm told to do. Number one, wake up. Verse six, let us not sleep as others do. You know, there are people in the church today who've gone to sleep. They're not watching the signs of the times. There's a lethargy. There's a passiveness, even a laziness. There seems to be a disconnect between their so-called spiritual life and their real life, instead of in the middle of a jungle. I don't know why. Well, guess what? For the person who's in the middle of the jungle or wherever, they'll hear the message of the angel preaching the everlasting gospel. And the Bible tells us God will raise uh, two miracle-working witnesses that will have the world as their audience. With the Everyone will see what they're doing. Of the earth. Shall the clay say to him that fashioned it, Every why time make Robin. this shows this sword because that's what I see I see the pen dragon sword the what is it from the sword to stone the myth okay and I see a hypodermic needle with uh, the six gene at that circle the six genome alright so you've seen what I've seen I I see the sword now. That's pretty damn evident. And I also said in my video a couple days ago that the hypodermic needle and then the RFID chip coming out. Genome 6. Punch that into Gematria. I'll put that down below. Genome 6. And then I see a doing? hypodermic needle with a How chip coming out of the bottom. At the very tip, there's a little round... Uh, oval shaped like it's coming out of the hypodermic needle and I also see in the handle of the sword right there I see the throne of Pergamos okay Pergamos that's what I see right there it just in the handle okay because that's what Zeus's throne would look like it would be like shaped like that okay but that's the Pendragon Pendragon sword yeah, the Masons, they've adopted all of that. You know, it is what it is. I mean, but that's what I see. Per that's a round part there. So there's a sword. Israel, though, officially they won't admit that. A man of peace comes. A bow and no arrows. The bow is put down. A great sword is taken up and war. The bow is put down. And a great sword. See the pen dragon sword. The what is it from the sword to stone? The myth. Great sword is picked up. Warfare will ensue. The title of this message is Stampede, because it's about four horses, perhaps even a fifth, that come out of the chute 
and like a stampede, a herd, devastation is in their wake. One. Two. Three. Four. Maybe even five. But here's the thing, a pale horse. I'm gonna, did that stick? Oh, right. That's what I thought. Pale horse, which is about the green New Deal. Uh, the pale horse, and he who sits on it is hell and death. So the pale horse is as if the pale horse is with somebody else. And because the Jonathan Cluck channel is not just one person, there's three. And in the dead center, there's three frogs, unclean, but they're in a the pool of water, so they could could be cleansed. But the uh, the the uh, unclean spirits came out of the mouth. They came out of the mouth of the beast, the false prophet, and the antichrist. So the false prophet would be, in my view, with the three, it's more like the false prophet would be the one that repents. False prophet repents. The beast in the system would be the one going around doing the skits and stuff. And the Antichrist would be the Mahdid who click uh, this click here who has a bow riding in on a white horse even though Derek Bros has a white horse but you're dressed in black so there is a black horse black horse has the balancers in his hand and he's he's weighing out the and you know, he's gonna you know I live on black horse drive it's Pretty funny, but I'm not saying I'm the black horse. I'm writing down what I'm seeing through via video YouTube. Uh, what I'm seeing with with the uh, with the four horsemen, because the reason why I picked SJD as one of them is because. Like, Gematria is his thing. Gematria is something that controls the minds of the millions of people. Hollywood, government, kids that think that they're something because Gematria lied to them and told them that they are, but they'll find out later on. And YouTube agents that believe in it, that your name, type in your name, hocus pocus, abracadabra. That's the deception part of it for you. Decoding the part of it is simply things of the nature like type in white horse. Let's see where that where that takes me. Uh, just wait for it. It's going to be overturned. So the, the white horse is going to overturn. active the, the magical codes you are the metatron great wolf lodge so great wolf lodge chosen disciples of the end of days so the disciples are chosen break on through to the other side which is the host body breaking through into the holy place 
just like that, all can be found inside of you, but it can be found inside of your spirit. Oh, would well, you look at that? Robin, liar Robin T's, a Xanax addict. <laughs> Not anymore. I used to be addicted to Xanax every day. Now I'll just take like a piece, maybe once a week, a little tiny, like a quarter of a piece, maybe a half altogether. Uh, but I went from two Xanax a day. So when this was written, uh, 590. Now, mind you, this is under White Horse. But there are two White Horses, isn't there? There's the Antichrist and then there's the Christ. Antichrist, White Horse, comes with a bow in his hand. And that's it. Christ comes on a White Horse with uh, crowns. Crowns in his hand. He he has the leader, like the, the kings, the crowns with him. Frogs to destroy them. Those three frogs to destroy them. World champion. I mean, if you notice my name is in here, and it, and that's definitely... Sounds like Steve's uh, scribing. Low life loser. Who is beast? The Vatican Code. Ain't that something? The Vatican Code. So the, the Lord God Heaven is considered the white horse. But in this system, white horse here has John the Collect not pointed to himself as the Lord God? Has that not happened? Of course it does. Heaven, God's Bible, God, Drago, Dragon, Ray, Vatican. Anunnaki gods. George W. Bush. I felt like this was the... I th no, not you. Him. I felt like he was George Bush. There you go. Right there. Son of man. I, I will take that one for $420. The son of man, meaning a literal son of a man, riding in on a white horse, the serpent, and Rothschild. So I'll go with the serpent, the main, my main picks. The serpent, because... Steve finally confirmed what I've been seeing is true. And so what he's doing is he's um, the serpent here coming in on a, on a white, a white horse with a bow in his hand, bow. And then I see the bow in my own house with the gate wrapped around it with my son, Christian, who he talks about the name Christian, just how it works, gets punished. He talked, he only talks about being punished. I mean, uh, being in a room. And then, so the bow is being put down and a sword is being taken up. So Steve sees a sword, which means he's picking the sword up. So then, Red horse. Three, two, two. That's today. God of Israel. God of Israel. I remember Steve saying uh, mystery Israel is, is over in Michigan, but 
Philadelphia has the the literal Philadelphia's the literal antichrist manifestation, the three unclean frogs, the three twins, Manny Mo and Jack playing it out. Beast, false prophet, antichrist in that setup. Right? Am I is that the beast, false prophet, and the antichrist set up with the three twins to click channel? Let's we'll see if that sticks. This is how you figure things out. You 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 hit or miss, hot or cold. Um, it doesn't matter if you're right or wrong. What matters is getting it right and not being afraid to throw shit at the wall and see if it sticks. Satan's Lion's Gate. Elohim lineage, red. I mean, not really, because Hitler is only one T, so I can't really put that in there. Islamic God. Islamic God, I can see that, see Steve being that, Linwood. So there you go. Here's the connection to Steve as the red horse. Just something as simple as Linwood. I, I am who I am. Planet X. Planet X and the Black Star are getting close. Like arid, extra dry. I don't know about Napoleon. Not, I don't know the Joker. Yeah. You said I was the Joker because what? The Batmobile got stolen? The dragon. Red. Dragon. The rabbit hole. Lady in red, wear a mask, Ozzy. So, being the, the dragon, the red, the dragon, the red horse, Leviathan, Linwood, the Islamic God, Michael Bloomberg, didn't you say that you were a billionaire? So there's that. Oh, and no arrows. The bow is put down. A great sword is taken up and warfare will ensue. No wonder Jesus described that time okay. by saying there and will I be distress of nations with perplexity. With, Men's uh, hearts the sixth failing gene them from fear and the expectation of those the things. Sixth genome, which are genome coming. six. What a vision. What a stampede this is for John in heaven to see what's going on on the earth. So again, it's like, all right, so Michael fought against the dragon. And then in the system, it's like you pick Michael, to, Michael's going to stand up and fight against the dragon. And the dragon looks like this is the system here, the dragon. And so then Michael stands up and fights against the dragon, right? Am I getting this? SJD is starting to come against Jonathan Cleck, the Clecks, the all in this. Every time Robin. Even though, even though, uh, all right, come on, get out of the way. He's saying, um, well, you, you got rid of him. 
that's why I record it. Anyway, you had a dream, Barack Obama, Prince Harry, and uh, Joe Biden are burnt at the stake in the middle of Philadelphia. That was yesterday. I go there. From what I've learned, you know, like Prince Harry, Barack Obama, and Joe Biden, because even in Gematria, Joe Biden. Yeah, lines, ready? Let's. Joe Biden lines up with, or Joseph R. Biden lines up with Jonathan Cleck, I think, somewhere around her. It's connect, intertwined together. When this Jonathan Clegg gets up, he speaks about Joe Biden a lot. Or this, at least definitely this one. This one here speaks about Joe Biden a lot. And then between Barack Obama and, uh, and, so let's see, if this is supposed to be Christ in the system, because this is the Christ, you can tell by the neck, it's different. And then this is like Adam in the system and Eve in the system. I think this one's repenting, this one isn't, and this one is Jesus in the middle. My, am I on to it? The three? Because the one repents and the other one doesn't. And that's in the actual system itself. Peter and Paul, the Basilica, is right here in Philadelphia. So that's that's making it seem like, like that's what that is. Peter and Paul, Basilica. Let me, yeah, there it goes. And then, because there's Peter, Peter and Paul. Shakespeare, Shakespeare, all men and women are merely players. And then Peter and Paul on bound to Christ in the middle. So this is Philadelphia is the literal um, literal manifestation of fulfilling the Bible prophecy, but the vision fails. Although Judas, is the biggest betrayer on planet Earth, but he's also considered coming in on a, a white horse. He's going to be suave. He's going to be magnetic. And it's really a mask he's hiding behind because he... Did you hear that? It's really a mask that he's hiding behind. He is the most evil man who will ever live. If Pure evil. Just straight up evil. Pure evil. Just straight up evil. Um, the Bible says anyone that lies, anyone that lies is a child of Satan. So that makes Nancy a child of Satan times a lot. Because she's a liar. That's all she does. But she likes burn pits, though. Just saying, guys, it's here. If you don't see that it is here, you're blind. Why is why why is the Ukrainian military wearing all this occultic symbology on their uniforms? For God's sakes, why is NATO right side up, upside down? NATO O Town. I didn't I didn't make this up. I mean, this is right here. Just go go online. Go online. Yeah, presence. And she did this and got up and grinned manically. Uh, and Joe Biden was talking. About Speaker Nancy Pelosi's bizarre behavior during Biden's State of the Union address last night distracted viewers from the president's comments and had some asking if she was on drugs or drunk. Pelosi was sitting directly behind the president and was in full view throughout the speech. That went on for an hour and two minutes. The 81-year-old behaved erratically throughout, jumping up and rubbing her knuckles in glee after Biden. I'm sorry about uh, the audio there. I was like, here you go. Here's a uh, burn pit right here. This is a Nazi burn pit. So from the Holocaust, you know, where they're burning bodies. They're burning a bunch of bodies and then they throw dirt over them. Uh, I wonder why Nancy Pelosi is kind of getting off. And she was. She was getting off in a weird way on the burn pits. Is it because what's running Nancy Pelosi is so damn evil that hearing about burn pits and the death in the Ukraine and was getting that thing kind of excited in her? On Nancy Pelosi for a sec.
it was it was so strange. It was so typically strange for Nancy Pelosi. Do you remember the All right, so you're Nancy Pelosi too, huh? What do you do? Like you record Yeah, Joe Biden is one you're you're Joe Biden under the mask and then you record that and then you record Nancy Pelosi under the mask. I see how it works. I've done it too. I've, I've, I did Trump and I did uh, Biden together, recording it separately. Not his son, this is him. The only man probably who would even, who will ever live. If Satan ever had up here, I don't think he would be who would you, you would expect. He won't be dressed head to toe in black with sin. There you go. He's saying. He, she does it. And she, he's not going to be dressed like Derek Rose and dressed in black head to toe with a white horse in the background. He's going to be dressed more like, like that with like a white cap or something. Sister's sunglasses was oh sunglasses come out of the darkness and into the light right east but most of them simply know him as the antichrist now Man, if he were giving... to appear i don't think he would he's kind of snitching on you click would be who would you you would expect he won't be dressed head to toe in black see he didn't know i was around back then either he didn't know i was going to hop on youtube and and show you guys this with sinister sunglasses and with steam <laughs> rising off of him. No, this guy is going to be charismatic. He's going to be intelligent. He's going to be suave. He's going to be magnetic. And it's really a mask he's hiding behind because he is the most evil man who will ever live. If Satan ever had a son, this is him. You decide. The only man probably who would even come close to him in wickedness would be Judas. It's scary. So when he says that, meaning Judas is the same or the only one that can be close to being as possible as wicked and evil would be the, the, the dragon, like the, the one riding on a red horse. Either way, you can intertwine them. One being Satan's son. Because man, I I've Steve sent me his his wrath for the past few years, nonstop, constantly mentioning my name. But uh but now it seems like he's coming up. It seems like he's in according to the script, it seems like he is playing the Michael role, rising up, fighting the dragon, the Cleck role. Um but me personally, I felt like I was rising up fighting against the dragon in for real life. But in the script role, let me play this before he deletes it. I can't wait till she gets elected. She's a shoe in. Yeah, I like this one. She's really, really clean. She's going to be a good host to defile. Yeah, with money and power. She's going to turn out really good. She's going to be one of the devil's best ones. Jackson is a sure win. Nothing can stop because Dragon wants her soul. I mean, I, you can be aiming that towards me, too. Because you think that I'll just take money and... And then I'll just do what the dragon wants me to do. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just wait. You'll see how mean she's going to get. She's going to get really, really mean. Oh, yeah. After they're done submitting her to all the garbage that's coming upon her. Oh, yeah. But she's a shoe in. She's going to win for sure. They'll all elect her. That's because she's, she's supposed to be in. And they're all going to put her in. They're all going to agree to it. It is what it is. Somehow, and in a way it is, but they're two completely different people. 
In Revelation 19, verse 11, we read, I saw heaven standing open, and there was a white horse whose rider is called Faithful and True. With justice he judges and makes war. And on his head are many crowns. That's Jesus Christ. The rider on the first horse of the four horsemen of the apocalypse is Antichrist. He's masquerading as the Messiah. Thus he wears a crown, singular, while the rider of the white horse in Revelation 19 wears many crowns. Revelation 6 parallels Matthew 24. Revelation 6 is like the bird's eye view of, of the whole tribulation period. It's sort of like if it was a movie, we pull the camera back now and we're getting the big picture and then as we go further into the book, we go in for close-up shots at different events that are happening. So here we're seeing the big picture. Matthew 24 is also the big picture. It was there, uh, the disciples came to Jesus on the Mount of Olives and said, Master, tell us what will be the sign of your coming and of the end of the world. And he went and gave to them in chronological order the events that will take place. He, the first thing he said, many will come in my name saying, I am Christ. Who is that man? And with the mask. The tribulation period, which will last for seven years, begins with a rider on a white horse. Who is this masked man? Hmm. Well, let's see. Your stage name is Pastor Greg Laurie. Whoa. Are you active? Two days ago, three, four, five. An hour. Pretty busy there. Ten days, yeah. yeah. You're pretty active. Um I mean I wouldn't be surprised if you were Jonathan Cleck too, but for now we'll just say you definitely know who that man is. In that In that, uh, is your pinky bent? Oh, wait a minute, your pinky is bent, ain't it? Now, normally, when we see a guy in a white horse, we expect him to have. Oh, white hat. That's because we've seen a lot of Westerns, right? No, no, they're going to have a black hat. Black hat. Or white hat. And the white, the guy on the white horse with the white hat, is he the good guy or the bad guy? He's the good guy. Because the bad guy, he rides a black horse and has a black hat, right? Well, in this particular case, the rider on the white horse is not a good guy at all. In fact, he's a super bad guy. He's the baddest of all guys. The rider of the white horse is none other than the Antichrist. Now, because there is also a white horse mentioned in Revelation 19, it is clearly speaking of Christ, some think this is related to that somehow, and in a way it is, but they're two completely different people. Take on the prince of princes in battle, but he will be broken. Listen, Antichrist will be able to do something that no one has ever pulled off before. He will actually bring peace in the Middle East. Most likely he will bring an end to global terrorism. Uh, somehow he brokers a deal Just with the Muslim done. nations and the Jewish people. One way we know that he'll win the heart of the Jewish people, or at least some of them, is he'll help them rebuild their temple. You know, when you look at the uh, skyline of Jerusalem today, you don't see the temple. Not in yet. fact, you might see a building with a large gold dome on it. Uh, that is the Dome of the Rock. It's a holy site uh, to Islamic people around the world. It's about the gold that's on top of the, the dome. And one day, according to scripture, 
the temple is going to be rebuilt. You remember the done. What's up with that three-pronged porch fic, uh, <laughs> pitchfork? I'm a little dyslexic today. Original temple built by Solomon, later destroyed, or later beautified and rebuilt by King Herod, and then ultimately destroyed by, by Titus and the Roman legions in 70 AD. And it has not been rebuilt since. And But Antichrist is going to do what no one has ever been able to do. He will rebuild the temple for the Jews again. And that is why many will hail him as the leader. In fact, a man of peace comes. A bow and no arrows. The bow is put down. A great sword is taken up and warfare will ensue. No wonder Jesus described that time by saying there will be distress of nations with perplexity, men's hearts failing them from fear and the expectation of those things which are coming. What a vision. What a stampede this is for John in heaven to see what's going on on the earth at that time. I feel like John in heaven, there's a literal John in heaven and then the spiritual John that's seeing things in heaven, that's told to write things down in a book by Christ, which is the spirit that is inside of John. So the white horse, deception. The red horse, war. But there are more. There's a black horse coming up, verse 5. When he opened the third seal... I heard the third living creature say, come and see. Now, by this point, if I were John, I'd say, no thanks. I have seen enough. I don't want to see any more. So I looked, and behold, a black horse, and he who sat on it had a pair of scales in his hand. And I heard a voice in the midst of the four living creatures. Now, a pair of scales, also twin two scales a serpent has like scaly skin so you know the twin the two but could also be the two at the scales of weighing out the balancing it out the balancing act the money the monetary system creature saying a quart of wheat for a denarius and three quarts of barley for a denarius and Denarius and and Darius taking over. Uh, Darius taking over. Darius throws. Well, he doesn't throw him, but Darius put Daniel in the lion's den because his hundred and twenty princes and sap traps and whatever they were jealous. They were upset because they seen what was getting ready to happen. So they they trick they tried to trick not like they it's not like they actually tricked them he just knew that as soon as he was going to throw him in the lion's den he's going to be fine and he said the god you serve continuously he will uh save you and do not harm the oil and the wine Darius. bitcoin When I think of Bitcoin, I think of... He, she does it, and she knows how to do it. It's really remarkable. She's an incredible... I think of Derek Burroughs with Bitcoin. Sophia, because the... It's like the marriage. Remember World War One? It was Duke... Uh, somebody or another married, he was married to Sophia, right? And he was assassinated on my birthday on 1914. And that's what began World War One. And then the peace arrangement on 11-11, uh, 1918. And then the war officially stopped five years exactly later on my birthday on in 19, uh, 1919. 1919. 
ended on 1919. And here you have you have 19 19th Street in the dead center, 1961. Hitler money. So the money, this is what it is. Bitcoin, money, God's race. You know, money says in God we trust, but truly the reason why the money will be put into the house of God is because at that time, that saying on the money will be true. Right now, it's what they trust in. But the people that have Lucifer God our Eden, the ones that the binding of Isaac. There's Abraham and then Isaac and then Jacob, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And bald eagle is not bald, see? The anointed one, he's the one that made the animals. 888, the um, that umpire, he's the boss. And so what he's going to do is he's going to take that money because in God is who he trusts in. So it'll be true. And it says the red dragon. The red dragon, isn't that, isn't that the one that has the 10 kings? I saw a great red dragon and he had sent 10 heads and or 10 something like that 10 heads seven horns a large star this is god's gematria so i look up darius that's what i that's what i see there this writer has a pair of scales scales were used for measuring weighing rationing I believe what we are seeing here is the description of a famine. A famine is always the result of war. Wherever there is war, there will follow famine because there's always a shortage of food. Uh, food supplies are destroyed. So, Nobody was ever alive at that time. World War Three or a new heaven, a new earth. You you decide. What's it going to be? The first one, you've all seen a white horse, but then the second horse is a fiery red horse. Little followed G by an U. ominous... Owned by the little G-U. Modern day money changers. Okay, Rothschild, modern day money changers. Okay, House of Cain, House of Cain, decoded. Decoded, motherfuckers! Don't listen to me because I don't know nothing. This black horse followed forth by a pale green horse. I don't think you've ever seen an array of horses like that. It's sort of like watching a Western on LSD. I mean, this thing is a wild vision. Sorry to plant that in your mind. But that's what comes to my mind. Uh, this incredible dramatic scene that John sees played out in front of him. And, and what we have here essentially is what I would see as a trailer to the rest of the book. It is a summary in chapter 6 of the details that will follow in the subsequent chapters all the way to chapter 19. So it spans, I believe, the entire period called the tribulation period that is still to come upon the earth it's here it wasn't it wasn't here on 2016 now if you remember back in chapter 5 there was a scene in heaven john was taken up to heaven and he saw somebody sitting on the throne it was god the father the ruler of heaven and earth and you know what in this system, it says God, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. I mean, you can inter flip it whichever way you want. 
uh, resurrected Nero Antichrist. Great and terrible day of the Lord. Code of Jesus. I was looking for God's encoded keys. Lord God's coming, Egypt light God. Mary Magdalene. Forget where, if it was on this one or not. Thus says the Lord of hosts. So the Lord of hosts, remember, there's a pair of L's. There's, there's a literal that runs the entire system, and then it's the one that sits on the throne. And then there's the uh, the spiritual, which is, you know, God in heaven. The one I've known before I've known any of you is on this platform. The one that I say worship him. So Vladimir Putin lines up with Stephen Benin. There was a scene in heaven. John was taken up to heaven, and he saw somebody sitting on the throne. It was God the Father, the ruler of heaven and earth. So again, John is the one writing Revelation because Christ comes to John in his spirit and starts to tell him what to do. The with with the Christ spirit being in John, not actual Jesus Christ himself, but the spirit of Christ being in John, then with John going up to heaven, it's not like he's literally going anywhere. You can be right here on this computer showing people stuff, uh, taking them to heaven and 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 then meeting God, the father in this system that runs all the, you know, the four horsemen and everybody else, the woman that would have the 12 stars above her head, the one getting ready to give birth to the man child. That, that's how I see that. Uh, but in a literal sense, I mean, yeah, I guess John, John, I think like would be taken up to heaven maybe and to see the Godfather, which is because his son, the son would be going up there seeing it and, if that was being fulfilled that way. But I'm going to stick with this way here. And there was a scroll in God's right hand. And no one in heaven or on earth or under the earth was worthy, had the right to take that scroll and break open the seals. That's how ancient documents were closed, with little wax seals. The only one worthy was Jesus, the Lamb, that was slain, the lion of the tribe of Judah. He has prevailed, and he takes the scroll, and now he begins to break open the seals, as we see in chapter 6. Ezekiel. Excuse me, not Ezekiel. I think we're in Zechariah. Uh, yeah, Zechariah chapter 11, verse... Because the Christ in the system uh, will overturn things, and literally because of the position that he's already in. And so then Christ would also be coming to John. You got to understand, it's a, it's a dual fulfillment. The Christ in the system would be coming to John, talking to him, showing him the things that are coming upon the earth. And telling them to write things down and, you know, make YouTube videos and put it out there to the churches that are out there, the different types. And then, but that's, you know, played out literally. But that would also be like the Lord God himself in heaven coming down as Christ, talking to John, the, the regular human being. 
And then there's the spirit of Christ, just the spirit itself inside of John, telling, showing him what what's going on, and then having him, uh, you know, make YouTube videos and show people what's going on. But then you would have Christ himself talking to John in the system, the YouTube system world, talking to the spirit of Christ, talking to the person named John and showing him all these things and telling him to go tell those churches because you know who all the churches are. Verse 12, and I said unto them, if you think good, give me my hire. If not, forbear. So they wait for my hire, 30 pieces of silver. And the Lord said unto me, cast it into the treasury, the goodly price that I was prized of them. And I took 30 pieces of silver and cast them into the treasury, into the house of the Lord. Now, it doesn't actually say quite that. Let me tell you what it says. Don't buy it, Yehovah. Don't buy it, Yehovah. All right. He cast, he actually cast in. So the, uh, Shaliach, that's right over here, so you know where I'm reading from. Ve'ashaliach oto vayat Yehova el hayotzer. That's how the money goes to the house of God. There was a bow and no arrows. That is put down, and it is in its place a great sword, an implement of destruction. He's kind of warfare off is taken up. Was. Peace now vanishes from the earth. Daniel the prophet, seeing into the future about this coming world dictator, said his power will be mighty, but not by his own power. He shall destroy fearfully and shall prosper and thrive, and he shall destroy the mighty. Now, didn't Jesus predict the same, same sequence. Sequence. In other words, Jesus and Daniel are the same person. Remember in Matthew 24, his disciples said, so you're talking about the end and you're coming. So what are the signs of that? When are these things going to happen? And Jesus. Well, you're seeing the, the signs now. You're seeing it. You're seeing the different horsemen. That's what the Bible says. That's what Jesus. And also the horsemen, meaning those that have had, they're sitting on a horse, like as, a, as in horsemen. It said, take heed that no one deceive you. For somebody's going to come in my name saying, I am the Christ and deceive many. And he said, he continues, you will hear of wars and rumors of wars, nation against nation, and kingdom will rise against kingdom. And then again, the, the, so the person in heaven that runs the system, he's the Lord God, right? He's the father, like the Godfather. In other words, the Godfather. Let's put it to you like that, the Godfather. Uh, he's also uh, he's also known as Jesus, but Jesus himself is actually looked at as his father, because those four beasts don't they what don't they say like holy holy holy, and they sleep not day or night, and they're I forget how it goes, but they're like worshiping the lamb and calling him their father. But the lamb, Christ himself, so that's how it was back then. They they were worshiping Christ as the father, but he's telling them, worship the father in heaven because he's he defers everything to. The, no, 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 not me. The father like they. Look at him, but no, but you are the father. But no, well, who I worship is the father in heaven. Uh, but they, but they are, there were so many people that were trying to be him, taking credit for being him, being the Lord God also at the same time. But Christ himself was deferring the praise. Yeah, even though you're worshiping him, 
But he's saying, worship God, the Father in heaven, not a person, even though there's a person in heaven named the Lord God that runs everything down here. It's just a many, many um, fulfillments, multiple fulfillments. Same sequence. Spiritual and literal. Sequence as we see here. As some of you are thinking, oh, but come on, we, we've always had war <clears throat> on earth. That's a very important observation. Yeah, but not like now. Uh, World War III is all over the place. Fit. It doesn't fit because Jesus comes on a white horse at the end of the tribulation period in chapter 19. And when he comes, he comes to end carnage and end warfare and end bloodshed. This writer comes at the beginning of the tribulation, and because he comes, he ushers in devastation and carnage and bloodshed and war. Also, Jesus in Revelation 19 has many crowns on his head, the Greek word diadamata, the crowns of rulers, the crowns of kings, the permanent crown of a sovereign. But this I don't writer know in chapter... Nothing. So anybody that dumps their money into, into um, uh, crypto here, the that's not going to go underground, Peter Potter, guess what? All your money they're gonna is going to be used as a base for those house. that went that underground. Soul is strong yeah, and tough. Because yeah. you're going to be chat. dead. She finds out about you get it? it? So it's, it's but, Satan. But what does that look like? like? The, the jinn in a weird way. Okay. Are, 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 uh, well, how do I want to say it? Running Nancy Pelosi is so damn evil. Masterminds. Masterminds. Just like that picture of Mastermind that I posted. That's why he's blue. Blue boy. The mastermind is the color blue. I mean, Nancy Pelosi okay? because that's something that was pure um, evil. We have this just straight monetary, up this debt based uh, monetary system that man has created. Uh, five has a very different kind of a crown. Rulers, the crowns, has many crowns on his head. The Greek word diadamata. The crowns of rulers, the crowns of kings, the permanent crown of a sovereign. Zechariah chapter 1 and chapter 6. Now, during the interesting times that we're seeing with Russia and Ukraine, there are teachers coming out and saying that this is Gog and Magog or that the four horsemen of Revelation, which is the Antichrist, war, famine, death, and hell, that, it's, that the tribulation is being unleashed. Now, if you're a Bible-believing dispensationalist, we know that that's just hogwash. That's Amen. just laughable. Amen. As a matter of fact, the liberal lost world will even laugh at that because there have been many events throughout our past history where people thought it would be the end of the world, where it would be the apocalypse, where people thought this guy was the Antichrist. But it has proven true throughout every historical timeline. There were apocalyptic instances. This ain't the first time, guys, you have to read. Horse men. I like your little horsies that you drew. Writer in chapter 5 has a very different kind of a crown. The Greek word is Stephanos. And a Stephanos was a temporary crown made out of, re of, of leaves, laurel leaves, placed on the head of somebody who would win a race, like in the marathon. They would be given a little laurel or olive branch crown that would fade away. So it would be a very temporary kind of a victory. I'm driving a white horse, and my son's name is Stephen, which means crown. But this writer in chapter 5 has a very different kind of a crown. The Greek word is Stephanos. And a Stephanos was a temporary crown made out of... ...build a temple for the Jewish nation. But in the middle of that seven-year time period, he will break that covenant. The mask will be ripped off.
Jesus said his ministry was. So the Lord God in the flesh, Jesus, El, the Almighty God in the flesh, his mission was to redouble your eyes, to, to get, make sure your eyes are the same. And people will see him as the big bad wolf that he is. The imposter will be uncovered. You know, just half a century ago, this happened in Europe. A guy came on the scene and was rising to power. His name was Adolf Hitler. And do you know that when he started his rise to power, that the Western allies, especially the French and the British, thought he was the hero of the day? He was the man of peace. Do you find that weird? Um, I find it fascinating that this is the symbology. If you look, you type in Satanism, black sun symbol, Satanism. Hey, look, you're wearing your black hat. I'm wearing my black hat, click. And, you know, Derek Rose always wears his black hat. So this is Satanism, the black sun. This is what Hitler was <clears throat> all about, the black sun. A guy came on the scene and was rising to power. His name was Adolf Hitler. And do you know that when he started his rise to power, that the Western allies, especially the French and the British, <laughs> thought he was the hero of the day. He was Satan's the man of peace. Well, there it is. There it is. You can who find would it. solve the world's problems. In, right here. You can find At it that time, the Prime Minister of Great Britain really was Neville easy. Chamberlain. With the Nazis. Neville Chamberlain actually well, met with the Fuhrer in Munich and came back waving a piece of I mean, paper truly, that Hitler signed truly, truly a truly peace treaty. That that is the symbology on the uniforms of the guys in the Ukraine. Hmm. Do you find that weird? Let me show you all the symbology. Shocking to think about. Let me give you another theory as to what these beasts could be. These beasts, as they're called here in the text, could refer to the most destructive creature on the earth. You know what that is? Rats. Rats. Rats thrive in virtually all populated areas. Rats are very prolific. That is, they have lots and lots and lots of little rat babies, mm. and they carry disease. I mentioned the Black Death in 14th century Europe. It killed one-fourth of the population of Europe. One-fourth of the population gone because of those rats and the rat-borne disease that they carried. That could be a reference to... The beasts being rats. So there they are, the same guys holding the same occult symbology here, here. The black sun on their uniforms. This, this is the Azov Battalion holding the same occult symbology on their flags and their uniforms. There's a really good article that uh, I think everybody should read. I'm going to go ahead and read a little bit of this article. It says, America under Joe Biden. This was a Salvadoran president. Um, this guy right here, Nayib Raquel, breaks the silence and points out the obvious Biden regime. The USA can't be destroyed so quickly unless the enemy is from within. I did, um, I did a video a long time ago called The Antichrist Unveiled. It had, I don't know, seven or eight million views, and it was taken down. How's it going, Barack? Anyway, so let's take a look. America under Joe Biden, wide open borders, 2 million illegal immigrants flooding the country in one year. Uh, Lady Gaga impersonator in a De Antford video birthing a locust. I'm totally against civilians and all the people that are suffering and all the terror that's going on there. It's horrible. Um, I find it interesting. I, I find it interesting hat. that... Uh, and the reporter said, you mean Christian? He goes, let's take a look. I remember the guy that used to be the president before Trump. He said, uh, well, uh, yeah, I've been asked about my Muslim faith. Uh, and the reporter said, you mean Christian? He goes, oh, yeah, Christian. Why do you keep disappearing?
Anyway, the sign of Jonah. I went and looked up something very important. Um, by the way, Joe. Just uh, before I nah. tell you that very important thing, there's a tw there's a Jonah. Statue of Liberty standing on top of. There's the William Penn Building. A hendecagram in front of the twin system burning. Those are the tw Liberty One, Liberty Two. Now, sign of Jonah. Jonathan Clegg could be. He's looking to destroy Philadelphia for real, and it'll the second 9/11 will never happen because he, he, you know, he just basically he was told by God to go to King of Nineveh, which sounds like Nebuchadnezzar, but I'm not sure. Nineveh, Nebuchadnezzar, the king, go tell them, and they all repented just by him telling them. So, and then he was mad that. Philadelphia wasn't destroyed. I can care less because uh, the truth is already out there. Twin towers, and they represent the right side up, upside down system that the enemy is burning up his fuel. And it was done on 9-11 because the angel of the bottomless pit is Revelation 9-11. They had a king over them. Who had a king over them? The locust from the pit. That's why, that's why here's Lady Gaga impersonator in a DeAntford video birthing a locust because that's what they birthed. They birthed. And I heard a loud voice in heaven. Um, skip that. Verse 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth and the sea for the devil has come down unto you having great wrath because he knows that he has a short time. The Lord told me to go take a look at, you know, the actual vials that they're distributing the thing that goes in that thing they stick in your arm. And Michael the Archangel is one of the two princes. He's referenced throughout the Bible. I'll do a sermon on him in the future. Jesus coming with the clouds. The, every time Robin after this, shows this sword, because that's what I see. I see the Pendragon sword, the, what is it, from the sword to stone, the myth? Okay. And I see, see a hypodermic blood, needle. Great earthquake. Um, sun, the stars fall. That's why Jesus says after the abomination of desolation that the false Christ and false prophets will do great signs and wonders. And then very shortly after that, we have the rapture. The sixth seal, all these things are happening. It doesn't mean they're happening same time, but they're horse. Let's just read the third horse just so you can see what I'm talking about. It says in verse 5, And when he had opened the third seal, I heard the third beast say, Come and see. And I beheld, and lo, a black horse, and he that sat upon him had a pair of balances in his hand. And I heard a voice in the midst of the beast saying, A measure of wheat for a penny, and a measure of barley for a penny. That, that black horse is involved with the currency, is my conclusion. Obviously, there's not a king going through the world holding a pair of balances. If you don't know what that is, that's how they used to uh, weigh money. So, you know, they would say, okay, this silver is equal to this silver, and they would weigh it until it became equal. GU, owned by the little, little GU, modern day money changers. Okay, Rothschild, modern day money changers. Okay, House of Cain, House of Cain, decoded. Decoded, motherfuckers! Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth and the sea, for the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knows that he has a short time. What happens is, we'll get there when we get to Revelation 12, but the, I believe that those two sons that they saw were Michael the archangel and the devil fighting in heaven. Curious to find so out if Robin up. is holding uh, cryptocurrency. You know who else I'd be curious about is, who's holding crypt, who possibly is holding cryptocurrency is uh, Derek Bros and Jonathan Clark. Okay. <laughs> Obviously, more glory for the greater being. The devil masquerading as an angel of light. Michael the Archangel is one of the two princes. He's referenced throughout the Bible. I'll do a sermon on him in the future. Jesus coming with the clouds happens after this. Devil's cast out. See the moon of blood. Great earthquake. Uh, Devil's cast out back in May 21st, 2011. Great earthquake. 
and then coming into clouds, the clouds of heaven, the internet, the principality of the air, the airwaves. Um, sun, the stars fall. That's why Jesus <clears throat> says after the abomination of desolation that the false Christ and false prophets will do great signs and wonders. And then very shortly after that, we have the rapture. Uh, 66 and a half AD, sorry. So that's three and a half years. We'll get there. I just want you to understand. Verse 7, there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought and his angels. And then if you flip the roles, it's like the dragon. Well, hey, I'm just saying, you know. Oh, that's what I'm saying. And then Michael and his angels fighting against the dragon. But then in the in the other system, it's like Michael, the one in the system, is going to fight against the dragon because the dragon was cast down and has a little bit of time uh, here on Earth. And prevailed not, <clears throat> neither was their place found any more in heaven. And in 16, John sees out of the beast, false prophet, and the dragon, three unclean spirits like frogs come out of them, and it says they go forth to all the, through all the world to gather them together to battle. But by those spirits, he also says that they, those are the spirits that are working the miracles. When you have this mass amount of angels being cast out of heaven, their goal now is to go deceive people on the earth. How do they deceive them? Through the miracles. That's what Jesus tells us. I know this is a lot to take in, but for some people, I hope it's eye-opening. It sure is. Eye-opening. That's more fitting, isn't it? Angels are stars. Simple as that. Uh, you can watch my sermon on it. When the stars fall, their fr fall from heaven, just you cry. also see in Revelation 16, John sees Man, out this. of this the weird. beast, false prophet, and the dragon, three unclean spirits like frogs come out of them, and it says they go forth to all the, an through all down the world to gather them together. Fact, Jesus is but ministry by those right spirits, here, it says, he also right says in the Bible, those right are the spirits right that here, the working the miracles. When you have this uh, mass amount of angels being cast out of heaven, their goal now is to go deceive people on the earth. How do they deceive them? Through the miracles. That's what you, Now, let's get to verse 12. He says, And I beheld when he had to open the sixth seal, Lo, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood. And the stars of heaven fell unto the earth, even as a fig tree casteth her untimely figs, when she... So it's untimely. ...is shaken up a mighty wind, and the heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together, and every mountain and island were moved out of their places. And we notice in chapter 5 that only the Lamb was worthy to open this scroll that was in the hand of God the Father that contained seven seals. So again, the, in the hand of God the Father, in heaven, the literal person, and then in the hand of God the Father, the Spirit, heaven. And so uh, this is really, Revelation chapter 6 is just a continuation of chapters 4 and 5. So if that helps at all, chapters 2 and 3 were a picture of the seven churches, and now we're into the, uh, the seven seals, and we're going to find that the seven seals largely parallel, in my view and understanding, the seven churches. All right, folks, God bless you guys, and welcome to This Is It, Before the Fire. Hi, Johnny. I just want to let you know that I'm your highest trained reviewer. I get all the dibs immediately, um, just the way it is. This is happy, Johnny. <laughs> the speaker is rubbing her hands together like fly inside of the capital shape as a bug. What the hell? 
Christ's purpose was to make one new man from the two. I mean, it also could be the other Johnny dressed up as as the happy Johnny. It, you know, you guys are slick. I'll give it to you. I got to be on my game here. I, I had to watch the whole thing in order to figure out which Johnny it is. Because you're in the same, you're in the same studio. You look like this, Johnny, but not no, you're different. And what I want to show you is I want to show you just the same seven or eight million views and it was taken down. How's it going, Barack? Well, how, tell them how it's going. One from up, one from down. Ah, uh, I see. Down. Anyway, so up. let's take a look. And the demon America under Joe Biden. System. I've been asked about my Muslim. Guys, I'm going to show you something that right now that's just going to blow your mind. I'm going to look you straight in the eyes. This morning I got up and I came into the living room here where I'm I'm sitting right now, and I started praying, Faith, and I was like, Lord, uh, and the this has got to come to an Christian. end soon. He goes, oh, yeah, a Christian. Of course Just the, obviously, a Christian. So Don't be World silly. Three and everything the Lord showed me, <laughs> the event that he let me Let's take a look in. at, remember at the, the a night under the stars, um, the revelation of who we are, that one of our eyes goes up that, to the sky, to the stars, you know, and one of our eyes goes Texas down to the live, pit, we have to a, right to a cell, it's actually being funded where there's a worm the current that feeds off you. It's a dimensional um, thing. Your eye is a dimensional thing. Uh, let me just skip. I just want to let you know that I'm your highest trained reviewer. Same with Steve. Same with, same with you yesterday. God bless you and welcome to This Is It Before the Fire. Hi, John. I just want to let you know that I am your highest trained reviewer. One eye is a trough that goes up. One eye is a trough that goes down to another pit. And they both go to different sides. And when you get converted, the eye in, the, in your head that goes to the pit, you get inverted and converted. Come and see what is about to take place. And so John is writing and he says, I saw these things happen. So in the scroll with seven seals, there is, of course, words and information, but it's presented to John as more of a, a, a video or video you're you're more in lines of what i'm saying modern modern terms of showing john uploading a video sure in a symbolic form of what is written there does that make sense absolutely the god has not appointed us to wrath but rather to redeem us as he redeemed enoch before the flood as he, he redeemed well, he's finding anki and enlil and and Enoch and Elijah and, and um, you know, and and you've discovered some uh, very realistic things, I'll just tell you. Yeah. Elijah before the final great apostasy of Israel, so we shall be taken out before his floodgates are released with his wrath on the Father earth. Father will smite now there the curse because Elijah was unable to turn the hearts of the fathers to the sons and the sons to the fathers because that. His father tells you about it in Malachi. That's his warning. You're Wait it, you exchange services the way that you buy or sell. You're going to need the mark. You're going to need the number and you're going to need the name of the beast. You're either going to submit or father's going to smite the earth with a curse. This is the curse. The devil's pitchfork money and all of a sudden he realized that greater is he that's with us than he that is in the world we need our eyes healed y'all getting this okay an artist representation of the 
sixth chapter of the Revelation with the four horsemen coming throughout the earth. The horsemen of the Antichrist, the global world ruler. The horse Global. You see that? Global world ruler. Global. Anytime I see global, it reminds me of the global witness coming in a... Hey, where'd your horse go? Wow, well, there's a bunch of horses here. Horsemen of the famine that's going to strike the earth of warfare. And the horsemen of the, the murderous onslaught of people one against another. War, famine. That's how you get on YouTube, the platform, you get people against one another. And they're ready for it because they're going to go underground. Uh, One tiny event in the most remote village in Nepal or Tibet will be on the evening news in the Western world that day by satellite link-up. The global village makes it so that one person can have the attention of the entire world inside of one day. The channel is about talking about all you guys. Every one of you, everybody that I feel like is from the inside, everybody I feel like is hired, it's my job to talk about this. And put it was Satan's job to uh, accuse the brethren day and night, day and night, night and day. The devil, a jinn. It was the jinn's job to accuse the sons of God. I know it was your job to do that. Obviously, I, you need to make up your mind. Like, how am I Swiss German? Polsky, I understand half Polak, but Swiss German, my, my, well, at least my dad, uh, I believe is my dad. His last name was Tease, and that's Irish. I mean, uh, Scottish. So I don't know where German comes from unless I was, you know, like a stepchild or something person can have the attention of the entire world. Sorry, Robin Hood and all you shows. You guys are in some deep, 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 deep trouble. By the way, Robin Nerd. Yeah. Um, so when you saw it, so what you're saying, you can't make this stuff up that you... Entire world inside of one day. Now that has never been true in the history of the planet Earth until right now discovered the source of all order and harmony for world peace and basically if you can get through all of his gobbledygook it says at the end that all people need to just agree that we're all seeking the same universal force and let's all just bow to him whatever or whoever or whatever name this force goes by he paid $150,000. Call the Lord God in heaven, the spirit, worship that force. And stop acting as if you're God himself. Dollars to give this message on January 6th of this year. It's very, getting very, very possible. However, seeing that the Bible says that in the last days there's going to be one world church. And you say, how could that possibly be? Well, it's getting very, very possible. Very, very possible. Probably the most powerful church in the world that has the most adherents, over a billion and 400 million adherents in this church of the world, is holding ecumenical hearings with the Dalai Lama and with the American Indians and with the Mormons and with the Jehovah's Witnesses and with Islam and with all of the Protestant denominations and with anybody else that will talk to them. So if you haven't gone over and checked out Robin's channel, Robin does some uh, some some interesting work. He's he's followed me for a little while. He's had some things trying to figure me out, but I love him. He's a great guy. We got to talk on the phone. Uh, we've had a couple of different conversations. Very, very sweet man. We. I, I'm still trying to figure out, Derek. Well, the devil must be running out of time because Robin's been really busy. They must be pushing him, telling him to make more videos. You got to make more videos. Right, Robin?